So this one is chapter 21. Uh, this one is electric force and electric field. Um, I think that's the major topics in this chapter. That's pretty much it. But then it's kind of a, a long topic, a lot of stuff to discuss. So we have the Coulomb's law, uh, F equals K Q1 Q2 over R squared. This is the force between two charges. And then, um, so we have two light charges repel. So if this is Q1 and Q2, if uh, two charges are the same, then of course uh, they repel each other. Uh, so if, if uh, Q1 is positive and Q2 is positive, they repel. And if Q1 is negative and Q2 is negative, right, they also repel each other. And then two unlike charges, Q1, Q2. So if they're positive and negative, right, then they will attract each other. So if one of them here is positive, the other one is negative, then the force comes out to be negative, uh, in which case uh, it's attractive. So two like charges repel. And two unlike charges attract. Okay, and then uh, the Q is in units of Coulombs, right? And uh, to give you an idea, the Coulomb is actually a pretty large unit. So the, char the charge of the electron is negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulombs. And then the charge of the proton is positive 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 Coulomb. So that's like the base unit of charge is the charge of the electron, uh, the base unit of charge and the charge of the proton. I don't think anything uh, less, um, less than that has really been discovered till now. I, uh, a small, in other words, the smaller charge than the charge of the electron. Uh, I believe there's, you know, we, we think that according to theory that a proton is made up of three quarks, um, up quark, up quark, and down quark. And then the up quark uh, has a charge of two thirds of the charge of the electron. So positive two thirds. Uh, but of course it hasn't been discovered yet. It's just theory two-thirds the charge of the electron, and then the down quark has negative one-third. Uh, this is the absolute value of the charge of the electron. So down quark has negative one-third the, the absolute value of the charge of the electron. So if you put together two-thirds, two-thirds, and negative one-third, you're going to get the charge of the proton. So this is theory, but it hasn't been discovered yet. So these are called fractional charges of the electron. Okay, so most, um, so the uh, charge of the Coulomb, one Coulomb is pretty large. So most everyday charges that we encounter are going to be fractional charges of the Coulomb. So one MC is going to be a millicoulomb. So a lot of times we're going to be using these symbols. One microcoulomb is 10 to the minus six. So to say this, you say milli. 
and then micro is the Greek letter mu, microcoulomb, and one nanocoulomb is um, 10 to the minus 9 coulomb. And one picocoulomb is 10 to the minus 12 coulomb. So pico. So everyday charges that we encounter might be those kind of charges. So like, let's say if you rub your um, uh, hand against something and it, it builds up some static, it may be uh, the charge that it builds up is something like that order, one microcoulomb, or maybe one nanocoulomb. Those are the everyday charges that we encounter. Um, let's say you put some clothes in the dryer and they build up some static and they get stuck to each other. Again, those would be something like that uh, of that order. Uh, so then this would be Coulomb, Coulomb, and then this is meter squared. So the units of the K, K is Coulomb's constant. And then that would be nine times 10 to the ninth. It'd be Newton meter squared over Coulomb squared. So Newton and then meter squared so that it can cancel the bottom meter squared. And then the Coulomb squared down here can cancel the, the top Coulomb squared so that the answer will come out in Newtons. So it's an easy number to remember because both this and that are uh, nine power. Okay. So one of the first things we can try is like a pit bull problem. Uh, So pitbull is like an interesting uh, idea that you can see. So it's called pitbulls, and it's just you charge them, and then you see their interaction with each other. So here, for example, you see, you see, these are two pit bulls that are uncharged. And then as soon as we charge them, they repel each other. If they have the like charges, positive charge. So we get to study what kind of behavior that they have. See, pit bull is a very small, lightweight object that picks up electric charge quite well. A charged pit bull works well to show the Coulomb force between two charged objects. If a glass rod is rubbed with silk, the silk rubs some electrons off the rod, and then uh, you get to study. Let's see if there's a little short video. Where's the voice? Oh, wow, that's pretty good, huh? See how much it's going up? Just by the putting the plate there. <laughs> like how it says, primitive device for measuring electrostatic force. Well, I don't think it's primitive. It's nice, you know. <laughs> it's basic, yeah.
Okay, that was a good one. Uh, that would be an example of a single fifth ball. Uh, let's see here. Why is the volume off? That's weird. They're all without volume. Am I muted? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but Where all hear the videos you are hear. like muted somehow. Maybe check the settings. Oh, this is a good one. Yeah. Let's see what did he do? Let me see at the beginning. Oh, the uh, rod is repelling both of them. Um, let's see. Let me go to my other YouTube. We just finished up another okay. attic here with. Okay, so I guess something I just happened to. F I guess since the pit bull is so. <laughs> what was the word that they used? So uh, uh, they're, they're without video. All the videos that they made of it is without volume because it's primitive. 